Hey, what is going on guys? Alex here and welcome or welcome back to my channel. I've been anxiously awaiting for my catalytic converter shields to arrive. Now that they're here, I don't want to waste another minute to get them installed. So let's run the intro and let's get the installation going. So today I will be installing a set of catalytic converter shields made by Cali Raced LED onto my 2019 Toyota Tacoma TRD Pro. We've been hearing too many occurrences of catalytic converters being stolen. I certainly don't want to be a victim, so I invested on these shields and I think a couple hundred dollars is a good spend for my peace of mind. That said, let's go over what I got for my money and a few specs here and there real quick. Okay, so this is specifically designed for 2016 to 2023 Toyota Tacoma V6 with automatic transmission only. So if you have manual tranny, this will not work. You get both driver and passenger side shields and uh, they're clearly marked with a D and a P. So even I cannot mix that up. Uh, and also the hardware, you get four security bolts, rubber bumper stops, washers, and the uh, security bit. I believe this would be a T40 maybe, but at any rate, this is made with 12 gauge and that's about one eighth of an inch thick brushed stainless steel. So it looks very sturdy with the quality materials and with a sharp looking design as well. It has plenty of holes, so that will help in venting or dissipating hot air emitting from the um, catalytics themselves. It's laser cut and CNC bent, no additional drilling, bending, or any sort of modification required. So it's basically a pure bolt-on installation. So let's just weigh this quickly using my hanger hook scale and uh, let's see how much it weighs. All right, so let's weigh these babies. Okay, there you go. So it's just a little over 10 pounds. You see it right there. And that's not too bad for really good quality uh, product right here. All right. Just to show you how thick that is. It's about an eighth of an inch. Okay, so the first thing that we need to do is to install these rubber bumper stops onto the uh, cat shields. And uh, these have two sides to it, a bigger side and a smaller side. So the bigger side will be facing up, basically onto the inside of the shield. So I'll be using a, um, actually this is a prior. You can also use a screwdriver and preferably a pick, but I don't have one. So let's see how that goes. That's one down. Two down. So that worked, but uh, a pick would definitely make uh, life a lot easier, but we managed to get it done. Okay, so this is the view from underneath the truck. And what you are looking at is the uh, driver's side catalytic converter. And this is the uh, passenger side. And what we need to do first is to remove the uh, front tube support uh, right here. We will be working on the uh, driver's side first. And after we remove this, we will loosen up the uh, transmission cross member bolts. So it's right here. All we need to do is loosen them up so we can have some wiggle room to uh, uh, install the plates. So follow along, I'll be uh, using a 12 millimeter socket to remove these bolts. We have two up here and another two down here.
Okay, so let's install the shield. What we want to do is we want to slide those bolts. And take one of the security bolts and just hand tie it for now. And we can tighten the uh, OEM bolts as well. And we can go ahead and tighten the uh, cross member bolts as well. Alright, so our catalytic converter shield for the driver's side is all done. I'm gonna do the uh, passenger side now and it's basically just a mirror image process. So um, I'll repeat the whole thing. Okay, so I just realized something here. Uh, these bolts over here are actually 12 millimeters and these are 13s. So I had to get a new socket for it and uh, it is what it is. Insulation is all complete, and let's just have a look at the shields installed. This is the driver's side, and this is the passenger side.
That completes our installation for today and this took me a good 20-25 minutes to do so it wasn't too bad it was actually straightforward as anticipated and uh, i'm just glad that i finally got this installed it definitely is a huge deterrent so it makes it a lot harder or, or longer for somebody to steal it and uh, also it's not only for theft uh, prevention but it's also a good additional protection from uh, stones and rocks when you're out hitting those trails so uh, I think it's a very uh, a good investment it's not that expensive so again I'm very happy that I did it please support my channel by giving this a thumbs up if you like it share it subscribe to my channel put your comments down on the comments section below and I appreciate your time for tuning in that's it for now and until the next video, but for now, if you can be anything, you might as well be nice.